I'm the storyteller and my stories must be told. Ah, the Amstrad CPC, a treasure trove of retro gaming delights. Today, my friends, we are delving into the dark corners of this iconic machine to unearth six hidden gems that will leave you gasping for more. Now brace yourselves, because things are about to get seriously <laughs> pixelated. First up, we have the light Corridor. Prepare to have your mind twisted and your reflexes tested in this psychedelic journey through a maze of light and sound. It's like stepping into a neon rave while wearing virtual reality goggles whilst on a roller coaster. Utterly mind-bending. The light Corridor for me is one of the most intriguing hidden gems on the Amstrad CPC. Now for me personally, the light Corridor is borderline masterpiece. The combination of, uh, I think, high-res visuals and mesmerizing audio creates a otherworldly atmosphere. The puzzles are quite challenging, yet addictive, uh, making you feel like you're unraveling the secrets of something with each step, well, with each roll. Uh, it's a trippy journey that keeps you hooked, and for me, it kept me hooked till the very end. Next on our list is a game that truly defies expectations, Abbey of Crime. It takes you on a monistic adventure like no other. So imagine being locked inside a medieval abbey with a gripping murder mystery to solve. It's a tantalizing blend of stealth, deduction, and atmospheric chills that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Abbey of Crime, developed by Paco Mendes, is quite well known on the continent, but in Britain, it was never converted to English language, and it was only later on that some bright spark translated it to English. Outside of the UK, Abbey of Crime has quietly amassed a legion of devoted followers throughout the years among retro gaming connoisseurs and those with a penchant for immersive storytelling. In the end, it really did leave me pining for more. Ah, the glorious era of knights and kingdoms. Iron Lord catapults you into a medieval epic where you must fight, strategize and conquer to claim your rightful place on the throne. With its immersive storyline and impressive graphics for the Amstrad CPC, this game is an absolute feast for the senses. Prepare to wage war, my friends. Sadly, it was only ever released on the Amstrad CPC in French, but in 2023, that shouldn't be an issue anymore. I've personally played it and had no issues with translation. So for example, Google Lens tells me that I'm in a small village, I'm gonna take place in the big annual archery competition. For me personally, on the Amstrad, despite the language barrier, Iron Lord is a hidden gem that deserves more recognition. It's got an engaging storyline, there's strategic depth, there's impressive graphics, and challenging gameplay that makes it stand out from other Amstrad titles. Now, let's turn our attention to a game that will put your strategic skills to the test. North and South invite you to relive the American Civil War with battles raging across the screen. Whether you're commanding troops, sabotaging enemy supply lines or engaging in duels, this game delivers a rich blend of history, humour and addictive gameplay. Enlist now, soldier! Players can take command of either the Union or Confederate Army as they vie for control of various territories across the map. It's a game that's got everything with a blend of different gameplay styles from turn-based strategy elements where you strategically move your troops and manage resources to real-time action sequences where you engage in battles and duels. The game just keeps you on your toes with its dynamic gameplay. So if you're ready to rewrite history and immerse yourself in the American Civil War, on the Amstrad CPC, this is a hidden gem and it deserves a place in any gaming collection. So gather your troops, plan your strategies and prepare to rewrite the course of history. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for a trip back in time through times of lore. This game can only be described in one word, enchanting. Prepare to be fully immersed in a world where atmosphere reigns supreme and the thrill of achievement pulses through your veins. It's a journey that will transport you to a bygone era, leaving you questioning whether you've actually stepped into a time machine. Picture a gauntlet style layout with vibrant colors adorning the towns, forest, and bridges that make up the expansive landscape. It's a bit blocky, but apart from that, it's a visual feast. If there is a catch, the control method can be a tad finicky. 
you might find yourself accidentally hitting a good guy. Nevertheless, once you get the hang of it, Times of Law shines as bright as Excalibur in the hands of King Arthur. But you've got to give it a chance. It's a journey worth embarking on, a testament to the power of gaming's immersive potential. So Times of Law, my friends, will cast its spell upon you. So unleash your inner adventurer, embrace the nostalgia, and lose yourself in a truly captivating experience. And remember, it was classic replay that sent you on this epic quest. Now, go forth and conquer, my fellow time-traveling gamers, and a massively shameless plug on her. But if you don't ask, you don't get. Also, just so you get into this game from the off, quest one, the Fatalling Stones. You just need to accept the prior's quest and go north into the dark forest. Leave the path, and when you get to the lake, go north. Don't forget to kill lots of orcs on the way. SimCity, a timeless classic that has captured the hearts of gamers for generations, especially on the PC and Amiga. Let me tell you folks, the Amstrad CPC game is an addiction you won't want to quit. It's like a bottomless bag of chips that you just can't put down. Trust me, I've lost countless hours to its addictive charm. You know the script, you start off with a fat stack of cash ready to transform an empty plot of land into a bustling metropolis. This can quickly become a massive power trip. You get to play as the mayor, putting down houses, buildings, roads and everything else that makes a city tick. As you progress, that humble village of yours blossoms into a town, then a full-blown city. Watching all this growth play out before your very eyes is somewhat exhilarating. A juggling act that requires serious strategy. You'll be spending money like there's no tomorrow, but hey, that's what mayors do, right? There's all sorts of strategies. I mean, you can place your police department strategically close to residential and commercial areas. Uh, don't even think about putting that factory near the heart of the city. Stick it far away where the pollution won't drive your residents up the wall. It's all about balance. So SimCity is a game that will test your skills, your patience and your ability to balance the needs of a growing population. It's a challenge that will have you scratching your head and cursing your computer screen. But when you finally achieve that harmonious cityscape, that feeling of accomplishment is beyond compare. So don't blame me when you can't tear yourself away from the screen. Just embrace the challenge and may your virtual cities thrive and prosper. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, leave a comment and ring that bell. I'd really appreciate it if you could share this video as well. And if you're feeling extra generous, please leave a thanks. So until next time, bye.